Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are excited for today's video because today we're going to be trying out a new bronzer. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Sunkiss Glow Cream Bronzer. They came with four different shades. I picked up two different colors because I wasn't sure like which shade would work best for me, especially since I purchased this online. So I picked up Fair and I also picked up Medium. It does run for $56, so I do find it to be like really high on you guys. So I'm a little nervous. I'm really excited at the same time. And this is supposed to be long wearing, so it's supposed to hold the pigmentation up to 60 hours give us a natural finish medium coverage sweat proof it's also supposed to be cruelty free which you guys know I love and it has hyaluronic acid infused in the formula it's supposed to give us a blurring effect to the skin as well so I'm really excited to see what this is all about especially since I have combination oily skin I also do have hyperpigmentation on the top of my cheekbones so I, I wear medium to full coverage foundation just to really cover everything that I have going on so finding cream products that actually work really well for me and that doesn't move everything around is really difficult to find so I'm hoping that maybe for $56 this might be a really great product as well especially for the price point so I hope you guys enjoy today's video we're going to test out the consistency the blendability the undertone to these bronzers and I hope you guys enjoy everything will be linked down below in the description box please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really does help out my channel and as always let's jump on in and try them both on so starting off on the packaging because I feel like that's really important at least for me when it comes to something that's more higher end this does run for $56 and let me tell you when I first ordered this online I thought the pan size wouldn't be a little bit smaller I thought there was gonna be like more of a weight to the compact and it really feels really lightweight I do love the size of the pan like this will last you you guys such a long time if you end up really liking it I feel like it looks really really nice I love the undertone to this bronzer so far by the way this is in the shade fair described on their website as a natural soft bronze and I personally really love it let's see if it actually has a scent and to be honest, I do not pick up a scent whatsoever. It doesn't say on their website if it's fragrance free, but to be honest, I don't pick up a scent to this at all. As for the mirror, I do love the size of the mirror. I feel like this is a really good size. Like you'll have a really good view of how you're doing your makeup when you're on the go. And I personally really like that. It feels really lightweight. Love the packaging. Very true to Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury packaging. And as for the consistency, it feels really, really creamy, you guys. Like once I applied my finger on to the cream bronzer just to do a quick swatch, it glided on effortlessly. It dried down really quickly. It doesn't feel tacky. And I re personally really love like the soft kind of matte finish that it has. I personally really like the undertone to it. I feel like it kind of has like a cool undertone, but at the same time, it has like a warmth to it that I personally really like. And I feel like it might end up really looking really nice on my skin complexion. So I'm really excited to test this out. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my Real Techniques a buffing brush. I personally like to use this brush to apply on a cream bronzer so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of product keep in mind that I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the edge of the ear and kind of work my way through like midpoint I'm gonna go ahead and apply on this bronzer really light-handedly because I do not want to move the foundation and everything that I've applied on underneath and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend up this bronzer as well just slowly just because I want it to be nice and structured and everything to be nice and blended so I'm not even gonna lie I feel like a little bit of product goes such a long way when it comes to this bronzer. I do find this shade fair to be pretty much like a cool tone and I'm not a fan on how it's currently looking on my skin complexion but let me give you an up close clip so you can see for yourself on how my skin is currently looking but so far it hasn't moved any of the foundation that I currently have on everything is blending really really nicely as you can see definitely gave me a little bit more of a cheekbone which I personally really love so what I'm going to go ahead and do with anything that I have left over on my brush I'm just going to go ahead and apply it throughout the jawline area kind of focusing it here in the corner chin area just to make my my face my jawline look a little bit more thin and slim and anything that I have left over I'm just going to go ahead and drag it down the neckline so everything looks really nice and blended and is one and then I'm just going to go in on my forehead I'm going to apply a little bit of this bronzer and then I'm going to apply whatever I have left over on the temple area as well just so everything looks really nice and bronze and looks really blended with everything else that we've applied on but let me give you an up close clip of how my skin is currently looking so you can see for yourself and so if I feel like my skin is looking really, really good, it hasn't moved the foundation that I've applied on underneath. Everything is blended really nicely. And so far, the only thing is the undertone. I'm not a huge fan of this shade, but if you do like this shade, comment down below, let a girl know. <laughs> but overall, I do feel like it has like a cool undertone that I'm just not a huge fan of. But overall, it's really, really nice to form you guys. It doesn't feel sticky on the skin, which I'm really impressed. Typically, cream products tend to have like some type of like waxy or creamy consistency. And this one is drying down really nicely so far. So, so 
far so good. So let's move on to shade number two, medium. And this is described on their website as a medium golden bronze shade. And let me tell you, I feel like I'm gonna end up really liking this one, but who knows how I'll feel about it once I have like a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. By the way, I'll throw an up-close clip of the swatches like side-by-side so -side from one another so you can see like the difference from one shade to the other. But I definitely like a bronzer with a more golden undertone, but I personally really like it. Again, the formula is really creamy and glided on effortlessly. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky on the back of my hand after swatching it. And so far, I do not pick up a scent to this bronzer again, you guys. And let me show you the pan really quickly so you can see for yourself on how it looks on the pan, but it's really, really nice. I love the undertone to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with another Real Techniques buffing brush. Again, I've had this one for such a long time. That's why it looks really janky and old, <laughs> but I absolutely love it, you guys. It picks up product. It blends everything like butter. So I just really love this brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of this bronzer. And I'm just going to be really light-handed again because I don't know how pigmented this specific bronzer is going to be. And I'm just going to go and apply it again, starting at the top of the earlobe area, kind of applying it throughout the center of the cheekbone area, blending the product up and being really light-handed because I don't want to move anything that I've applied on underneath. And I'm just going to go ahead and build the pigmentation little by little. So let me give you an up-close clip of how my skin is currently looking because I feel like it's looking so, so good. I definitely feel like shade to medium is definitely the undertone for me. I just feel like the warmer undertone type of bronzers work really well for my skin complexion. And again, it's blended really nicely. It has not moved the foundation that I have underneath. And I just personally love the undertone to it. It's really, really nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with whatever I have left over on my brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the jawline area, blending it down the neckline as well and focusing in the corner of the chin just because I want it to look a little bit more chiseled just like I did on the other side of my face. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of product, pick up a little bit more product, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it around the temple forehead area, just building the pigmentation and being really light-handed because I don't wanna move anything that I've applied on underneath. So I just finished bronzing up the left side of my face. Let me give you an up close clip of how my skin is currently looking so you can make your own judgment for yourself. Comment down below what do you guys think so far. Do you guys like shade number one or shade number two? Comment down below. Help a girl out. To be honest, I feel like, yeah, warm. Warm is the way to go for me. I personally really love it, but overall, everything has blended really nicely. It has not moved the foundation or anything that I've applied on underneath. I love the finish to it. It's really, really nice. It definitely has like a natural kind of matte finish to it that I personally really like. It's really lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on. I don't feel cakey. And I personally love how easy it was to blend out this product. It's really, really nice. Can't wait to continue testing this out and see what the formula is all about for myself. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Video. I feel like it was just so easy you guys I love the fact that it doesn't have any scent to it I feel like $56 is pretty high-end I'm not even gonna lie but they do I think they carry this at Sephora so if you have any points if you get a gift card girl if there's a sale I feel like this is definitely worth trying out especially if you're someone like me who has combination early skin you don't have the most perfect looking and skinny you do have hyperpigmentation and you do have to wear me into full coverage and has struggled just like me finding cream products that blend really nicely then I highly suggest you trying this one out granted I'm gonna continue testing this out so stay tuned for one of my monthly fave and feels I'll keep you guys posted and how I end up really liking even after doing this video but so far I'm Really impressed with the formula and I'm really excited to continue testing this out because a little bit of product I'm not even gonna lie you guys it goes such a long way and I personally really love the size of the pan I feel like this could last you such a long time so if you guys have any questions comment down below ask away I'm always here to help but please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you already haven't subscribed and as always I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye